Hello there, this is Jennifer with Prexion. In this video, I will be showing you how to copy your patient's file onto a disk or a USB. So the first thing you'll want to do is launch your Prexion 3D Viewer software. And once logged in, you'll want to find your patient's file under your patient list. In this example, I'm going to be using the second file listed under the name Third Molars. So You'll want to first highlight your patient's name by clicking on that file once, and then you'll want to right click to that file and select study management and then drop down to where it says CD slash DVD slash zip study. Once you select that, um, you'll get a pop up that will show a progress bar of the DICOM file being exported. Once that is finished, you're going to see a second pop-up, which will show um, a couple of options down below. The first option listed there is zip file, which is what you'll want to select if you prefer to save your patient's files onto a USB. But if you prefer to save those files onto a disk, you'll then instead want to select start writing. I'm currently working out of my laptop without a disk drive available, and therefore you'll notice that my second option there, start writing, is currently grayed out. But if you do have a disk drive, you'll want to insert the disk first, and then you'll want to select start writing. Once you do that, you'll see a progress bar, which will show the copying of those files. Once finished, you will get a last pop-up, which will show completed um, files and your disk will actually automatically eject from the drive. And this is how you'll know those files have been completely copied over onto the disk. Now, if you prefer to save those files onto USB, you'll want to select a zip file instead. Once you do that, you'll get a pop-up which will give you the option to save that file wherever you prefer. You could either save it on your desktop or you could save those files directly onto a USB by going to this PC and then finding your USB location. It does give you the option to change the file name, but if you do so, please be mindful of HIPAA compliance. Once the file name is changed, you can go ahead and select save and it will again show you that progress bar of those files being copied over onto the USB. Please keep in mind that if you do decide to use a disk to copy the files, um, the disk must be DVD minus R format. DVD minus R. All others, unfortunately, will not work. And if you use a USB, please keep in mind that all files run at about 250 megabytes to two gigabytes, and um, therefore you'll need to have at least, we suggest about three gigabytes of space available on your USB. And again, once you see the completed pop-up, that means those files have been copied over, and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching.